Okay guys, so I've got everything wrapped up with the uh, combination package that I was making. Um, and I got it uh, set up with uh, reset switches. And um, also, I want to show you this really quick. Just go ahead and paste it. Okay. That's everything that's in there. That's everything that's in the template that I made. And then right now, as you can see, it's it's working away. Kind of see the lights through the wall. And basically, uh, what it is is when you get it uh, and you open it and you place it, uh, certain things are are on and off and all that happy business. And so what I've done is I've created uh, two switches and. The default password to this, so you don't have to cut a hole in it when you get it, is going to just be clicking the door because it's all the zero node. Okay, so see that I placed it and I and the combination is set to the default of zeros, which all you have to do is click on the door. Okay, um, so basically what it is is it's set up to that secret zero, so it's so that's all set. Uh, what I'm going to do here. Okay, these both look like they're off, but I've tilted it so they both look the same. Uh, one of them is always on and one of them is always off. And this right here is what causes this template to set itself up when created. Um, because no matter what, one of these is, is uh, going to be on and one of these is going to be off. And whichever one happens to toggle, it starts the series of events in order to uh, start a timer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reinitiate the link and I'm going to show you what happens okay so it comes through you, cr you uh, throw down the template okay and see it's it's going through it that's the reset it clears out notice I added a couple extra switches okay and then the timer counts down when it reaches the at the beginning of the timer it does the reset process and at the end of the timer it goes ahead and sets the default okay and that's why I can package this template up and pop, pop it down on the ground and be able to have the default just be able to get in here without having to uh, cut away at a wall okay uh, so just again I'll show you okay set this off Initiates. And voila, default. Okay. And then I just want to clear everything out. This is the reset switch. And as you can see, uh, it's ready for a new code. And go ahead and do that. You don't have to hit the reset switch every time you want to do a new code. You can just change it at will. Okay. Um, and that's that. And then the reason why I changed it so it would basically scroll down. I think it adds a nice effect. Um, and what I what I could do is I could just shut them all off. Um, but I like the how it goes down and it turns turns them on and everything. Um, and the other thing is too is just by turning all these on. If one of these was on, um, it doesn't doesn't seem to um, reset the right way. Um, I've also set up the um, the way that these nodes reset with the switch. It's when it gets turned on um, and then it gets shut off. That's just so all these nodes when they're off, um, everything will be off, including the switches. Um, the only thing that's different, the only thing that won't be, is um, these uh, this zero node here. Um, I have this to s turn this off because um, the only thing this does, the toggle switch, is when it's toggled, it shuts that light off, so it's not affecting a shut off. For some reason, uh, this switch is is bugging. Um, it's it's working properly for everything else, but the link that I sent from this to turn it off when it's off 
doesn't seem to be working uh, properly. So I don't know uh, if it's what's exactly up with that. I mean, I suppose I could probably try to um, just replace this note out um, with new stuff. But everything else uh, all works. It's all packaged up. You've got a nice little light. You've got your your node board. You've got your uh, your AND gate board. You've got your master panel here. Um, everything is broken. Um, what I mean by broken, all the links are broken. So come over here and I click on this. And I'm not accidentally going to set off any chain of events of of silly stuff. So this is pretty much uh, an unbreakable board. Um, I mean, unless links and triggers stop. Or, oh, 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 I missed one. Look at that. See? Uh, link. Oh, it's broken. So I'll have to read. I'll have to update the. I'll have to update the template that I have. I think that's. Pretty sure that's the only one. Okay. Everything else is broken, so basically, um, and now everything will be broken. The only things that aren't broken are the uh, master board, because you want to input a combination, the reset switch, and the input board. And now, of course, I just locked myself out because there's no code currently, so I have to cut a hole in the wall to get in. Um, but, yeah, that's the uh, one slight problem with it, but... Hey, uh, you can lock somebody out, and then the only way you're getting in is, is cutting in. You know, it doesn't matter if they try the default or not. Um, so that's that. Uh, what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to put uh, attach claim... Uh, yeah, this is a li uh, little less... I mean, I suppose I could just... I could just float it right here, and then everybody could grab it. So I don't have anything else in here. Uh, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do that. It would have just been faster to fall. Probably could have used X. Alright. Uh, okay. Too high and way too long. So I've got everything all nicely wrapped in a nice package for anybody that wants to grab a copy. here okay and I will just go ahead and whoop ah uh, did I just do that oh, I just killed myself that's great well, I already have the template saved, uh, thankfully, so I'll just have to fix that panel and where you put it. Uh, do, 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 do. The lovely awesomeness of dying. Oh, just uh, to show you the trick I showed you in the earlier video, how to get to my claim without a portal shard. Okay, local travel. Click on the hub. Yeah, that would 
might be why I couldn't save myself. I didn't have my boots of the Zephyr equipped. For some reason it kept bugging out earlier. It kept on like like this kept staying open. Alright. So you see it put me right next to my claim. I just gotta go a little bit north. And you can see my giant hole. So anyone that wants to come and grab a copy, I'm on Serenity Cove. Okay. And use my bobble. Templates. Place. I'm gonna put like some land. Might be easier for people to grab. this a little away from the edge so I can delete it easier later on and get up the heel tool all right there you go you got a nice little platform to walk around and make a selection of it I'll go ahead and set permissions for this uh, this is this is what this is claim Claim one. Use props and copy voxels. Okay, might as well pay my upkeep. Alrighty. Alright guys, so that's that. You can come over here and just pick it up. Like I said, Serenity Cove. Um, I am uh, north, west, the hub. Mostly west, a little bit north. I said you can use that trick if you want. Uh, to get to my place, you can come down and uh, grab a copy of it if you want. And I'm also going to place 
um, this on the Player Studio as well. I'll go ahead and fix that pleat right now. Alright, so like I said, this is all unbreakable. Um, you can feel free to catch it in the Player Studio or you can come to my claim and copy it. Um, and that's that.